Hey, good afternoon. Michael James here with Leica Geosystems. I'm here today to talk briefly about our new verification tool, which is allowing us to now take the data that uh, we capture in the field and uh, compare that to construction documents, uh, whether that's uh, models or point cloud data. It's a pretty cool feature. I want to spend just a couple of minutes here talking about it today. First things first, we're here in the new version of ICONS, version 6.0. Um, for those already using the Icon products, uh, as you can see here, we got a nice, fresh, uh, new look, uh, really streamlined a lot of the uh, locations of things just to kind of help moving around and navigating the system, making it a little bit easier. But today I'm going to focus on the application verification. And uh, what I've already done is got my project loaded up. So let's go ahead and jump on in the verification app. And uh, what you see here in the beginning is we have uh, we have the model, uh, an IFC model, which came from our contractor who we partnered with on this project. Uh, it was a, a concrete model uh, that was built and uh, imported into Icon. Plus, we have um, the 2D uh, layout in here that came in via DWG and uh, some of the points associated with that. First things first, I'm going to clean this up a little bit just to give us a little... Uh, cleaner view of what we're going to look at. I want to go ahead and turn off all the 2D and uh, points just because what we're going to focus on today is really uh, taking some point cloud data and comparing it to some surfaces. So actually I'm going to go back up here and turn this point cloud on. So this point cloud uh, will pop in here. It's just a small point cloud, but uh, one of the large values of uh, the new ICON verification solution is what we've done is paired ICON with our MS60 multi-station. So that's one of our high-end layout machines. And that machine uh, in both does layout and um, you can put it in a scanning mode to actually collect uh, LiDAR data. And, uh, and it's, it's not like your traditional 360 degree terrestrial uh, full dome scanners. This is more of like your point and shoot scanner. You're going to kind of give it the area that you're focused on and uh, like this elevator shaft here. And uh, what we did is just kind of windowed out an area that was we were interested in. And um, within a couple minutes, the, the total station uh, quickly scanned that uh, face of that uh, elevator shaft and we had it overlaid right on our model, right in the field. Nice thing about this, when you have a multi-station, you have your job site control, you have your model, you have everything all in one coordinate system. So no matter if you're scanning, you're doing layout, you're jumping back and forth during the day, it's all on coordinate. So uh, everything is laying together, coming together really nicely. Let's go ahead and get this uh, model cleaned up here real quick and uh, get it ready to do some uh, QA, QC. All right, here we are. We have a cleaned up model and uh, just kind of some of the focal points of what we want to work with. Um, next thing's next. Um, what we want to do is kind of just take a look at, uh, you know, here we have the model. We have uh, some point cloud data. And what I'm, uh, instead of jumping in the cloud data here today and just kind of really clean that up, I'm going to leave it unclean. So just, we can get some real, um, you know, high residuals, uh, you know, between the data and the model comparison, just so we can see how some of the functionality works between uh, the, the cloud data and the model just for the verification purpose. But let's jump in here and talk about this. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first things first in verification is what we want to do is go ahead and select our point cloud. Then we're going to select the modeled elements that we want to compare. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. All right, so now we have selected our point cloud and modeled IFC elements. Obviously, you can see the outlines there. We have the model elements collected and the point cloud. 
Next thing, it's really just a one click. Let's go ahead and run the verification by green check mark in this. Icon's gonna do its work here. And uh, that quick, give us, a, give us some results. So this looks like a lot of red, but it's a lot of red because I didn't, as I mentioned earlier, I wasn't gonna go in and clean it up. Um, you know, so we have a lot of data uh, you know, behind it. There's some, uh, some wood here that they had uh, so nobody could uh, get through. Just some things that I wanted to leave in there just kind of show um, how the extents of the, the analysis. But what I can do is this long press here on the, um, the bar here on the left-hand side and get, look at some tolerances. I have a high tolerance set, but let's just look at something a little bit more tolerant, like medium, medium 0.05. That's the comparison between the, the surface of the ISC to the point cloud. Looks like we, uh, looks like now we're uh, seeing that we're actually intolerance. So if we just look at the green surface, you can see, you know, most of that front surface is intolerance. You know, obviously these, these red two by fours I mentioned earlier are out of tolerance. The red uh, that was shot at the back of the, the elevator shaft, out of tolerance. And obviously something down here, uh, looks like maybe the base of the elevator was something bumped out there and that's out of tolerance. But let's, uh, let's go one more step and see if we can get some uh, inaccuracies here. Let's make it precise. All right, this is nice. Uh, we have uh, some nice out of tolerance area up here. Uh, we have some actually in the opposite direction here down in the middle. And these, these red points and blue points are just kind of our extrema points you know, in each direction or in each uh, out of tolerance area. So each out of tolerance area has an extrema point. Um, as you can see, the red's in one direction, blue's in another. But let's actually, let's, let's keep it here. Um, you can see I kind of did a nice job of just putting some contour lines around those areas of interest. So as I go ahead and just say, let's green check this heat map result. It's gonna give us a opportunity to, uh, to name this. Let's just call it wall two, um, save it. And I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna save my extrema points and contour lines. And then also I wanna save my heat map. So as I do that, uh, it's gonna bring all this information back into the model and I'll be able to see how that's all overlaid plus Icon's going to create uh, basically layout points around the contour lines that'll give me the opportunity. If there's an area up on that surface that we need to identify to fix, um, we can kick that laser on on the total station and uh, select one of those points and actually have the total station turn to that point with the red beam on, and it'll give us a nice uh, location of that area that's out of tolerance. So here we are. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Um, lots of points. I wanted it that way. We got lots of areas that we're interested in. But if you look in here, um, a lot of cool stuff here to look at. Let me change, kick over the view. Maybe we'll go to perspective. All right. Oops. Now we got our dialed in there. Nice view of uh, that shaft. We got the heat map. We got our contour lines to look at. And I'm just going to go ahead and kick off the model now. Um, let's just go ahead and turn that IFC, go to my layer manager, turn off. All right, heat map is off. Uh, zoom out a little bit here so we can get in here and see it's some pretty nice clean data. And uh, from here, I can actually, uh, you know, it's a little quick here, but I can actually kind of pan around and kind of look at that. It's a pretty nice heat map. Say there's some areas here in the middle that are tolerance. Again, this is where I would just kind of select some of those points. Turn two, point to it. This is a great quick tool. It takes about five minutes in the field to use it. Um, I, I've, I've used it already for verifying uh, footings, piers, you know, structural steel, structural concrete, foundation walls, floor flatness, wet pour scenario, you know, dry pour scenario, whatever the case may be. Lots of great use cases for this. So it's not just a layout, it's layout, QC, verify. It's a, it's a very nice workflow. With that, I'm going to leave it. Great talking with you today and uh, see you on the next episode.